Hey guys, this is Kosher's Let's Play of GTA, which is different. Oh god, my volume's up. You guys can hear that. Okay, now you can. Um, it's, it's my uh, GTA Let's Play by myself, which is... It's different. I'm a little scared, because I, I usually roll with friends, because friendly banter between everyone makes everything seem a little less lonely. But, you know, video games are being played how they're meant to be played. Uh, by yourself, in a dark room, with a uh, huddle over a mic. With a TV providing uh, providing a little sheen to the tears in your eyes because you're so alone. All right. Well, one thing I have noticed about all my videos is that you can hear me smashing the buttons as I play, which must be really, really a uh, <clears throat> a sight into my world of just breaking controllers and mashing the A button as I am now. Um. So I might as well dive right into the conversation pieces I have been planning for like three hours because I I honestly. I get into GTA videos, and I'm like, I'm not just GTA videos, solo videos. Oh my god, I'm surrounded. Holy shit, hipsters. Hipsters with guns. Oh my fucking god. Oh shit. <laughs> the neighborhood watch just turned on me. That was really scary. Oh fuck. <laughs> I'm really bad at this. Yeah. <clears throat> um, anyway. Gaming, uh, gaming alone and like recording or just like playing games with a purpose really gets me nervous. It's, uh, it's kind of a really bad, uh, character trait, I guess you would say, because I've always wanted to do esports and every time I get into a lobby with someone who's like super serious or 12, um, even if uh, I, I feel like I have the advantage in the game, uh, it'll get wrecked by knowing that this is serious. Whenever, whenever shit hits the fan in a serious manner, it's, it all goes downhill from there. Oh, someone, someone took someone's wallet. I got, oh, ooh, car chase ones. I never get to do the car chase, uh, wallet seals. Not until now, bitch. Back to the future of this. Oh, wait, that's not a, that's not a Della Rosa. Not Della Rosa? Is that what those were called? They were called something. Nope. It's a Marty McFly vehicle. That's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> Big random thief, man. Um, anyway, con conversation pieces. I had pieces of conversation, little puzzle pieces that I was going to make into a big, big, big puzzle, and, uh, they're all gone now. And I'm entirely nervous again. Oh, I remember what, uh, 369, <laughs> I remember what I was thinking. That's what you get for going to a goddamn gas station to get money. Zero twenty four. Yeah, sure. Whatever. More like get robbed at in front of our store. Twenty four. Um I was thinking about how all these like viners and stuff, like there's like vine panels now where like you go to this big convention and like, you know, Nash Gruyere and I don't really like the kid, but Nash is there and like the Ratata dudes there doing the Ratata thing. It's like yeah, you're only getting six seconds it previews into these people's lives repeatedly. And I don't know what the big attraction to it is all. Like, Vine's great because my six-second um, attention span really, really gets fulfilled. And, you know, I can occupy myself watching six-second videos for half an hour, which means I'm watching 5,000 videos, uh, which is entirely impressive how I can't even get through a full-length YouTube video, but I will sit down half an hour on my phone and watch... Teenage boys make sexist comments. Well, you know, it's all right. Yeah, I get through it at the end of the day But I was thinking about how YouTube gamers like they they really don't get enough recognition because this shit is like it is hard Talking to yourself in a dark room just making the the most random of comments really it's <laughs> It is it's difficult and even my friend Brenna. She's a uh, Brenna. I don't know if she wants to go by first name Well, my name's Tristan, so you already know my first name well, now you do. Wait, this is my first video. I'll get to firsts later, babe. Um, no, so little, uh, little bunny boo boo, I believe that's what her, uh, her video channel is called. She also does video game playthroughs, and like, I can only imagine what her little five year old voice says and uh, throughout her videos, but like, I think she'd agree that it's, it's, uh, it's a little hard, really, to, uh, just kind of keep up with yourself not even not keep up with yourself so much as like just talk to yourself non-stop back and forth conversations like without a eh, cliche oh cliche would have been the the pigs um pigs and pig suits uh 
without like schizophrenia, this entire deal is like really difficult. Because it's not like you're talking to anyone else. It's you were literally talking to yourself, which is, you know, the type of shit like parents fear for all their lives. Like, oh my god, am I gonna have weirdo kids who sit in their room and just talk to themselves? Like, yeah, you you're becoming that weirdo kid when you start a YouTube channel. It's it's an experience that you're submitting yourself to uh, being a fucking weirdo, really. But uh, you know, it's uh, I'm 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 happy to be a part of the strange asshole army. It's uh, I enlisted. Oh fuck, you know what? Yeah, me and my Prius just fucked you. Um, but yeah, I got seriously off track. Uh, you know, a uh, big convention for gamers. I have always dreamed of having a big, like, big famous channel. That'd be like, the sickest shit, really. And, uh, oh, man. And just the idea of having these followers and, like, you guys can't even see my face. This is a conversation I was just having with Brenna. You guys can't see my face. You don't know what I'm looking like. You, you just, like, you know my voice. That's, that's basically the extents of our relationship is you laughing to my bad jokes and me... I mean, really regretting making all my bad jokes. And so at the end of the day, it's like, it's, um, hold on, I gotta get three different colors. Do we have to match or should we, let's go with dark, there we go. Um, at the end of the day, it's something. I, I don't know what I, what something it is, but it was something, you know, before the boiler suits really got me off guard. I wanted to go with the, you know, all black, uh, oh. Fuck, United Colors. That was all three. Oh, fuck it. Anyway. Um, something, something, something. Oh. So, yeah, this this is basically the extent of our relationship. And it's like, you know, these people, they get these big followings. And, like, they go to conventions and I get really stuffy. And I'm like, I have to blow my nose, but that'd be really awkward. I'm sorry, I'm really bad nasally driver. Um, <clears throat> uh... And I've always wanted to go to, like, one of those big conventions where, like, YouTube stars go and stuff. And, like, if I ever got famous, I'd want to go there. No one would know my face. And they'd just have, like, a seat taped with my name on it and just be, like, kosher. Everyone would just be staring at the seat. I'd, you know, I'd make jokes at the night and just, like, place, like, hummus and, like, pickles on top of it. But I would never sit down in it. And I'd come to the panel time where, like, all these famous YouTubers are sitting next to each other, and they're all, like, you know, talking, they're like, oh my god, where's Kosher? And I, I walled up, they're like, oh my god, is that him? And I'm like, oh no, I'm just a news correspondent with really bad hearing, so um, I'm here to, uh, get closer so I can record conversations, and they're like, oh, okay, and they're all depressed because I'm the life of the party, obviously. And so, I just want to, like, sit through the entire panel and not open my mouth or make a noise, for that matter. And just, like, sit there. And then they'd be like, well, I guess Kosher didn't make it. And I'd jump up on the table. Everyone would be cheering. Fireworks would go off. And I'd be like, I'm still a news correspondent. And sit back down. And, you know, that, that, that's that's how the uh, life at night would go. And everyone would be sad because Kosher didn't show up. And then three days later, I'd, like, post post the video. And they'd all be like, oh, my God. I was actually Kosher. I didn't get his autograph. And that's how I imagine being a YouTuber is like. Is people, people want your autograph. Yeah. I mean, you're you're right up there with like news, like music people, like peop news, music people. Yes, music people, people who make make the noises. No, but people who like make music. You're you're right up there when you're getting YouTube famous. I mean, that's how that's how a lot of people start nowadays is YouTube, and that's almost like uh, it's like the internet's making everything easier. All these old people had to work for it, and they're gonna rub it in our faces that it was hard. And it's like, well, I mean, it sucks for you, and we have YouTube now. We have YouTube and Kickstarter and, like, all this other nonsense that makes life 3,000 times easier if you have a decent enough idea or um, or or enthusiastic, enthusiastic enough to make your bad ideas seem good, which is my talent, really. I can I can whistle my way through, uh, is that how the saying goes? Whistle, whistle my way through a, uh, through a shootout? Something like that. I could, I could talk my way out of any bullshit nonsense that life throws at me because that's that's my talent you know uh, nice voice bad face oh, really tragic um i think you can hear the proactive commercials in the background from my grandmother watching nbc uh resurrection good show great show oh yeah uh, <laughs> back onto the conversation pieces the head pieces of this uh uh, fucked up war band of really, I don't know what I'm going, going on about. Um, 
One thing I was slightly disappointed about in GTA is I figure they usually touch base on corruption and everything like that in the police force, and at least a few games I'm pretty sure of they've they've touched base on corruption in like the church and stuff. And I really, I'm like, they they could go anywhere with the whole religious thing, because I doubt many religious people play GTA. Like, I'm not sure how many people, you know, mow down a couple hundred civilians and go to the next day and, like, sit inside the confession stall, and they're like, yeah, I'd like to confess to my sins. And they whisper to the priest, I murder people. And he's really confused and scared at the same time. But, no, it's all, it's all good fun. Good fun murdering people. The only place where it is good fun to murder people, not messy. Um, oh yeah, so, like I was gang, uh, <laughs> gang, gang, as I was gang on, um, as I was saying, the, the slander of the churches is something I demand entirely, yes, uh, no, it's more or less, they, like, they really had a big, they have big chances to just mess with the whole religious system, and they stomp out the whole, I don't know, just really fuck with Jesus, um, the entire conversation was based around a joke I had in the back of my head of a, a Catholic church in this game with a concession and kink uh, convenience store called Oh Sweet, oh Sweet Jesus. And it would be a candy and kink store. Yeah, that was, that was the entirety of the joke. And I just skipped like all the main pieces. Because I have a really bad stomach ache and I just ate a cheesesteak. And everything I say is rhyming. <laughs> Oh, uh, guys, I was, oh, God, it just went from, like, a, a solid 70 to 30 degrees today. Not even 30, I'm just exaggerating because I'm dying, but, uh, I feel like, I feel like my head is trying to escape the rest of my body and become its own sentient being, which I think would be a good idea, because right now the pain coming from my lower abdomen is like, oh, it's a thousand, a thousand burning swords. Hopefully... Catwoman comes to end my pain soon. Quickly. I'd have to imagine it all. Batman reference. Anyway. So, to stop stop it from getting quiet and awkward, since that's just, that's the the most fun thing to have happen, is quiet and awkward videos. I'm probably never even going to post this. I might as well just fucking banter on as much as I want. Del Perro Fui. Fui. What is Fui? I've always wanted to go Del Perro Fui. Ooh, I watched Holes today with, with my boy Zach. And my boy, I mean Bay. He's my Bay. I love Zach. Um, Holes is my uh, is my favorite movie ever, honestly. On, like, oh God, it's such a weird obsession I have with that movie. I love Holes. I've always wanted to have splooge. Splooge. I've always wanted to be splooged on. Just throw me some splooge. That's, that's what I want. I don't know who in the right mind thought splooge was a good idea, but... Yeah, no, <laughs> it's got all of Disney's little tidbits, like Splooge, even though I think Holes was actually based off a book, which wasn't being based off of, it's off a book. Holes is a book, guys, and it's uh, shocking that things come from books, but yeah. And I watched the worst parody of all times, I watched uh, The Starving Games, which, uh, uh, I'm not even sure what to say about it. I'm just, I'm really, it had its moments, it did, and you know what, I'll give it that, it had its moments, but it had its, it had its parody movie cliches, which I can do cliches, I, I really break down and cry for three days when I get cliched on, just like when I get splooged on, it's, oh my god, cliches, like, I, I, I'm already kind of a embarrassing person, and I'm extremely anxious most of the time, and, oh god, romance, romance cliches, I can't do it. Anything where a situation gets awkward, I feel the awkward in the room around me. I just, so awkward you could cut it like butter. And uh, I can't do it. I can't drive. I can't do it. I actually don't know what I'm doing. Okay, press A button. Um... I just, I get so, it's almost like when you watch something painful happen in movies and you start like, oh, I'm so sorry, I just murdered a small family. A small, adorable, and interracial couple, and now they're dead. That was entirely my fault. Anyway. Um, it's like, ah, oh God. I feel the embarrassment, the cold hand of embarrassment tracing down my back real sexually, and it's like, I want you, and that entire quote is like embarrassing enough where if I was re-listening to this, I'm probably going to blush a lot. 
and I'm stuffy and I'm sick and if you're watching this this is my first video and I hope you're enjoying yourself because I'm not and yeah yeah I'm making YouTube videos it's, it's fun <laughs> never listen to any of that nonsense making YouTube videos is work and you're doing it because you want money you all want money you greedy horse horse you greedy greedy horse oh god I finished a I started and finished an entire anime with Zachary Zach Zach and I and I'm gonna say Zach and I a lot in the entirety of my entire life on YouTube because of stuff I'm gonna have to end the video here before the heist because I I think I'm dying I actually feel my insides like leaving the rest of my body they're ascending to heaven and I'm just I'm lost for words on the description of pain I'm in right now oh my god cramps I'm cramping uh, when I pass, bury me with my Xbox and uh, other stuff. How long is this? It's 16 minutes. That's a lot of audio and stuff. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. This was Kosher. Stay kosher. Eat some hummus. I love you guys. Stay beautiful. Bye. Uh.